Ever wondered how to style a beautiful bedside table in your home? Stay tuned and we're going to show you how. Styling bedrooms is considered one of the most important rooms in a home that you can uh, furnish to appeal to the most number of buyers when they're looking at your home. I'm Belinda from Shabby Property Styling, Creative Director and CEO, and today I really want to come and talk to you about bedside table styling and the importance of doing it. The way we live and the way we sell are quite often two different things and I, like everybody else, have an abundance of things on my bedside table that I wouldn't necessarily want my buyer to see as they're wandering through my home and I'm trying to create the dream for my buyer and looking at my master bedroom and saying, wow, I, I just love this room. So first of all, Remember, you must have a bedside table. It doesn't have to be expensive uh, bedside table. For instance, this one has two sets of drawers and it's quite wide, but you, you can just have a beautiful, simple round table. Having a bedside table is a must in any room when it comes to selling. Your buyer wants to see that bedside tables are able to fit into a space because it just completes the bed and the look. Secondly, don't forego having beautiful bedside lamps. Whether or not they're hanging down from the ceiling uh, or they're, they're, they're large lamps, but the larger the better for a bedside lamp. So always think oversized when it comes to your bedside lamps because when you're lying in bed, you want the light to be able to come down and look at what you're reading or doing as, as you're lying in bed, whether or not you're, you're on the phone or you're, you're reading a book. So I'm going to show you this bedside table and probably compared to most people, it's probably pretty tidy. Uh, this is my bedside table at the moment. So I don't want this to come up in my photographs when I'm, when I'm selling my home and, and the photographer taking a picture of my, my master bedroom. A lot of people get very uptight about the fact that I've got to live in my house while, while it's on the market. How can you expect me to live as if it's always staged? But that's not the case. So I've got four books on my bedside table. I'm only actually reading one of them at the moment. So out with the books. And what I would do if I'm at a client's home um, is I'd actually put them under the bed. And so what happens is it's, they sit under the bed and then the client goes to bed at night and um, they can just reach down and, and get the things out from under the bed. Charges, no, no. Get rid of your phone charges. I would also hide that behind uh, the bed head or I would unplug it altogether and have my phone plugged in somewhere else. And whilst I've got a, I've already got a beautiful lamp here, um, I've got these things on the bedside table which I'm not going to keep there. And I have a bottle of water. So out with the bottle of water. This is mainly for the photo shoot too. Okay, so the most important thing to remember when styling any sideboard or a bedside table is think of things in groups of twos and threes, um, ideally threes, and you want them at varying heights. You don't need to overthink it. There are so many different ways you can style a bedside table, but I'm just going to show you a couple, um, which is what I like to use when I'm styling. Because this is quite a long bedside table. I actually have a tray here to ground it and, and to, to bring the things together. So I've got this beautiful big lamp and yes, look, it looks nice sitting in the centre, but it looks really boring at the moment. I want to add some pops of colour and a few books and, and make picture frame and candle just so that so that when the photos are being taken, it, it looks aesthetically pleasing on, online when, when your buyer is looking online. So I'm going to just put this off to the side. This is just one way to do it. And this is, this is grouping in groups of threes. And then I've got a little vase of tulips here. And standing back, it just doesn't look complete. And so what I'm going to do is, how about I put this picture frame in? And that actually completes the tray. And visually, it's pleasing to the eye. 
I've got height, so you don't want everything at the same height. Uh, because I've got such a tall wall, uh, bed head, if I had a smaller lamp, it would be okay, but it looks so much better with, with the bigger lamp. And so you're graduating, the eye is graduating down to the picture frame. So we've created a triangle like so with this. Now, another thing we could do, we could actually just leave it like that. Or I like to, when I'm styling homes, create a sort of a, a nice casual living as if you've just plopped into bed to read. Here's one of my beautiful books. So I would either just put that there like that for the styling pictures or I could move this tray over slightly and I could put a little pile of books over here like so. And this is creating a group of two. So class those three books as one group. And then I'm just going to pop a little vase on there. And so that finishes off my bedside table. Um, I also have a candle here. So I could swap out the frame for the candle, which looks equally as, as nice. Or I can just pop the frame back. But don't overdo it. Always have groups of twos and threes. And um, that's the secret to, to styling a bedside table. And always remember, do have a bedside table. Always try and have a bed head or at least art hanging over your bed head. It's, it's very boring to walk into a, a bedroom and see that there's nothing above the bed. And don't put your beds in front of the windows. It just, it, it actually detracts from buyers. And one last thing that I must remember to tell you is always make sure that your bedside globes are working because your real estate agent wants to come in and flick on the lights because all the lights he wants to have, he or she want to have them on while they're, with, while they're showcasing your home. So that's an easy way to style a bedside table. Always remember, do it in groups of twos and threes at varying heights and that is your secret because it's visually pleasing on the eye. If you'd like to book a call with Shay B, uh, just jump online and I'd love to have a chat to you about how we at Shay B can help you present your home to sell by presenting it well for buyers to fall in love with.